Hey guys, welcome back to the My Player Save here at Manchester United. They just won the Carabao Cup in real life and we're hoping to win some trophies with them this season. Our league form has started stupendously with seven wins from seven. We have Tottenham in our next Premier League game. However, between now and then, we've been called back for international duty. We have the Czech Republic and then... Uh, I don't actually recognise that next badge. Czech Republic and... Is that... It's not Poland, is it? Oh, Iceland. Czech Republic and Iceland. No, because Poland was a different badge. We had them in our uh, qualifying group for Euro 2028, didn't we? Czech Republic and Iceland in two games at home at Wembley today, which hopefully we're in the starting lineup for. Indeed, we are. Fan Dabidozzi. England duty to begin. And then... Oh, it's a rotated England song. We've got Curtis Jones in there. Livramento. Ben Godfrey. Tariq Mitchell. Beno Gittens on the left-hand side. Marcus Edwards on the right. Well, let's see what this alternate style England side is all about then. And then, like I say, we have Tottenham Hotspur after uh, the two international games where we hope to make it eight wins from eight in the league if we can. Thank you for your fantastic support on this My Player Save over the past few days. Continually uh, fantastic views and response to it here on the second channel. We are edging ever so close to 19,000 subscribers, less than 50 away as I record this. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, I'd really love it if you could. That would be great. And of course, drop the video a like if you're enjoying the content as well. And that will help the channel out even more so. Right, let's go into Poland. No, we're not doing Poland at all. I don't know why that's in my head. Let's go into the Czech Republic. Then let's go into over Iceland. And then let's batter spuds. Uh, match rating of 7.5 and a full 90 minutes should be pretty straightforward. And a goal involvement or two should hopefully come over the course of 90 minutes against a side like the Czech Republic as well. So this might be. Although we are in a, a weaker 11. And we have to factor that in, I guess, don't we? But still, we should be getting victory in this game. And it still should come relatively straightforwardly, you'd like to think. That's a nice bit of football with a back heel. But apparently, Conor Gallagher is offside. Here's Daniek. Pino Gittens gets there. And he's looking to send me in behind. I'll try a little back heel here. I don't really want the one too because I wanted to make another run myself. Well, keep going, Mr. Bino Gittens. Never mind. We'll find Alex Scott instead. Oh, well, they've ruined that, haven't they? Edwards, Scott, Bino Gittens. Oh, wow! What a goal! Beaten his near post, the goalkeeper. Slammed home. How has he done that? I was really, really annoyed at the beginning of the move. But I tell you what. Bino Gittens has just purely shot-powered the goalkeeper there. It's an unbelievable finish. And England lead by a goal to nil. Scored one goal against you already in this game. Hopefully, I can score a goal against him later on in it too. I'd love to be... Oh, Jesus. I'd love to be involved in a goal at the very least. Looking for Bino Gittens here. And Conor Gallagher. Oh, could have come to me. Didn't. Scott. Jones. And it's not quite... Oh, it still could fall kindly for us. Panak in the way. Connor Gallagher! Two great finishes for England. And I haven't scored any of them. We lead by two goals to nil in the 29th minute. It's probably a bit greedy of me to shoot from there. But take nothing away from Connor Gallagher's finish. That's very, very good indeed. We double our advantage. Journey. Lovely ball out wide to Novak. There's the man in the middle, but Tamori is intercepted. Fukai Tamori, sensational defender as he grows on career mode. Proving so once again. I'll get that to Gittens, and he could come back to me here. Conor Gallagher, I'll just try and hold a bit of a wider position here, away from the defenders, and that's a lovely ball into me. And there's a the finish. It's three for the England. We're playing very, very well here. The Czech Republic have absolutely no response for the way that this game is going so far. Marcus Edwards, to me, hold the defender off, but still under pressure, I found the very top corner. Scott, out to Gittens. Could even make it four before half-time. He's found me. Beat the defender. We will make it four before half-time. I've got two. We've got four. In the 41st minute, it's 4 nil. Boleslav. Oh, he's Czech as well. Boleslav Czech, 77 rated. Vitek is 81. David Zim is 81 as well, to be fair. But their back line is just so exposed. And the midfield, not great. With Lubimir Czech at 68 rated. And Novak at 72. And another Novak at 68 up top. 
and Cherny's only 74. It's just not a very good Czech Republic side, is it, unfortunately? And uh, that is well and truly showing here. His Czech, one of two for the Czechs today. Marcus Edwards in there to Livramento. Alex Scott, Conor Gallagher. Well, this goalkeeper hasn't been able to save a thing so far. And I now have a hat-trick for England. He might be 77 rated, but we said that their defence with just the three back is so exposed. As has been the case again in just the 49th minute, it's England 5, Czech Republic nil, And this couldn't have gone any better. Nice tackle by Gallagher. I mean, I've already scored three. Try and get an assist, shall we? Alex Scott fed me in for... Oh, he's going to feed me in again. I should have played the pass. I'm sorry, Marcus Edwards. You've assisted me once already today as well. And I've been a bit greedy that I should have played that pass. That's on me. Sadilek. Driven forward to Paul Crabbe, who's come off the bench here for the Czechs to try and help give them at least some sort of positivity up top. Not that they're able to find it at the moment. Gallagher to Scott, Scott to me. First time there to Bino Gittens. Scott again to me again. Marcus Edwards is arriving at pace. Scott's made a good run. And Vitek cuts it out nicely. Tomorrow's done brilliantly. It's just superb. Godfrey's got the options out wide. Could come to me first, maybe, and I'll go to Gittens. There you go. No Gittens is in. Six. An assist for me. Three goals and one creative input, input into this game so far. And this is, I think, now going to be the biggest win we've had with our country. Don't think we've scored six with England before. If we have, and it's only once. We've been scoring goals for fun as a team at Manchester United this season. Scored six against Chelsea, five against West Brom in the Carabao Cup. And now that's bleeding over into our international form as well. This might yet be the best season of the My Player save, even though we've had to wait seven years for it. Gallagher, I think that's to me, it is. I'll turn. We'll find Alex Scott. Don't know where that pass was supposed to go. I'm on an 8.8 .8 though, so having a fantastic game as is the majority of this England side, I would imagine. I don't know as anyone's really put in a bad performance, and Czech Republic have just been put to the sword here. One of the most straightforward victories we will ever have in any game, really. They've not even had some chances to mention of their own to show any sign of maybe even getting a consolation. I'm just going to loiter here on the edge of the box, but it won't come to me. But that's not a problem. A hat-trick for me and an assist. We're involved in four of the six. And even if I hadn't been involved at all, we still would have won by two goals to nil. The rest of the squad doing the bit as well. Beno Giddens with two goals and an assist. A goal for Conor Gallagher and assists for Edwards, Scott and Conor as well. That was a lovely game. What a way to start. If we can do that, I mean, surely... No offence to Iceland, but surely Iceland aren't as good as the Czechs. This should be more of the same at Wembley in game number two, right? Objectives for this one. Three passes in the opponent's half and a 7.5 again. Comfortable. Super comfortable. Surely then, this will be another straightforward win. Unless Iceland pull out a mad list like they did in Euro 2016. This is going to be another easy game for this England national side. And we should have the chance to score some more goals for our country. Although they've started brightly, Iceland, in front of their travelling fans. Cross is decent. And the header also, and cleared off the line by Livramento. Well, already, Iceland have done more than the Czech Republic did. But they still haven't scored. So, oh, if I can send someone away here, we might be on a counter of our own. But Beno Gittens has given that away, unfortunately. Well, fair play, Iceland. Fair play indeed, the way this is coming forward. Bjarnason not given away. Forward to me. Little back heel there to find Mason Mount. Come to me. I'll go to Gittens, who's in the box now. We'll drop a little bit to work some space and bend this into the defender's leg is where we'll bend it. Can we challenge for this? Oh, it's a great header. I should have passed it. As soon as I powered it up, I knew I should have passed it. Not to worry. No goal yet after 15 minutes, but we do look like we could cut Iceland apart with quite such... A straightforward, comfortable, easy manner as we did the checks a moment ago. Bino Gittens is in quite the vein of form at the minute. Trying his luck again. 18 minutes played. Corner comes in. It's over me. 
It's headed clear. Only as far as Marcus Edwards, however. Get this out wide. Please be onside, Mason. He is. Please go down for a penalty, Mason. We'll take the corner. What can we do from this one, then? Hopefully, maybe towards me. Bit deeper than that near post, preferably. Never mind, then. Challenge for this. No. We will get it back again. Curtis Jones. Okay, this is really good. Livramento. Edwards. And the really good has turned into the really bad. Come on, come to me. There we go. And then Mason Mount can go through there. He's got Conor Gallagher. Oh, little hurdle over the ball. Edwards into the middle. Conor Gallagher. Mason Mount. Oh! Olafsson, the goalkeeper, did get something on it. I thought it might have been coming my way there, but Mason decided... I want it. I'm going to take the initiative and I'm going to slam that home, which he has duly done. England lead by a goal to nil. We've had to wait a lot longer than we did in the last game to find the first goal of it. But it's a good finish from Mace. The keeper, as we say, did get hands to it, but couldn't keep it out. He got a big hand to it, in fact. Off the underside of the bar. England won. Iceland nil. Oh, thank you. Well, the alert! Ready! Oh. Uh. No, I'll look for support. I'm not going to just try and go solo for the sake of going solo. It's could open up for us. Oh, Conor Gallagher. Going for it. Comfortable enough save. There was the opportunity there for a couple of passes, but when it opens up like that, we have got previous from that sort of range in that sort of fashion. Mount Edwards, he's gone for it there. It might fall for me. It hasn't. And they'll clear their lines. But it is all England now in this game. Iceland started brightly, but have succumbed to that wave after wave of English attack. Well, they're in the box here, and they might find themselves the chance for an equaliser, or even an equaliser itself. Bjarnason, Albert Goodmanson, Bjarnason and Hansen are just overplaying it a little bit. But, I mean, they could absolutely get a goal in this game at some point, Iceland, the way they've played so far. But whether we're still within touching distance by the time they do, I'm not sure. It's a second defender here. Nearly got caught out by it. Bino Gittens. Where's he going? Edwards. Oh! Not far away at all, but it was wide. It's Albert Goodmanson. Well in, Fikayo. Well, come on. I'll call for it. Bino Gittens plays me in. Early catch the keeper out. 2-0. We've scored for our country again. Just a little fist pump. Tiny little fist pump. Thought the keeper might have perhaps expected me to try and get on my right here with a bit of space. So I've taken it early and pulled it across him. And he didn't predict it. I need to change my boots actually for this new season. That's a really good finish on my left foot actually, if I do say so myself. Bruno Gittens now going off for Alex Scott. Gittens has been brilliant in these past two games for England. Highly... Regarded in real life as well. Didn't really do it for me in the Glory Hunter, but he's grown particularly well and much better in this save than he did the Glory Hunter. Out to Luke Shaw getting forward. Oh, go on then! Ha. Huh. Wow. Would have been a particularly impressive goal. Get to that, Luke. Running around like headless chicken at the minute, Luke Shaw. Tuck that back there to Gallagher. And Jones, he's got many an option. Tried to avoid the challenge, but by doing so, gave away the ball. He's won it back, though, so fair play to him. Scott, into me, and good tackle. Very good tackle. I was swinging a right boot at that as hard as I possibly could. To Steinson, Tomori intercepts. Luke Shaw, they just can't, in this second half, get up and running Iceland. In the first half, they started brightly, but got found out as the half went along. And now it's really starting to flow for England. Until this final ball. But even when we're not quite finding the final ball, we're still making sure we find goals when they make mistakes. Wham! Another two for me for England. A fifth of the goal. Fifth of the day so far today. There's still maybe time for another England hat-trick. Back-to-back hat-tricks maybe. That has found me. Well held by Olofsson. No back-to-back hat-tricks, but we will be back-to-back -back victories. Now, I'm hoping that I'm still in the starting lineup for the game against Tottenham. Obviously, we know that the manager favour bugs a little bit when you're on international duty and still declines because you can't train. But at the minute, 
We've done everything we can to keep ourselves in the England starting lineup, and hopefully, over the course of the international break, have managed to maintain our starting lineup for the club. Well, as soon as it switches back, we have indeed maintained our starting lineup. It's actually keeping the uh, manager favour from international level. So I have no idea what's going on. But Tottenham, we have to play next. Rashford in there for them. Alvarez, Musiala. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Simen starts on the left-hand side. Sheldrop is now 83 rated. Rugani gets to start at centre back, which is a bit frustrating. Hopefully, that means there's no. That doesn't mean that there's an injury to uh, to Eric Garcia. Maybe he's just tired after international duty. Maybe. And he is injured. Out for three days with a femur contusion. Okay. Well, hopefully he's back sooner rather than later, and he'll be fit and ready and rearing for the next episode, which will actually be Champions League duty. Right, let's go and get eight wins from eight in the league if we can. Be a remarkable start to the domestic season. Objectives then for this one. Three passes in the opponent's half again. We'll go for the Maverick one. 8.5 expected here. So England versus Czech Republic and England versus Poland. It only asks a 7.5 of me. We now play away from home against Tottenham Hotspur. And he wants an 8.5. I think that's a bit unfair, really. We'll try our best. Tottenham haven't had a very bright start to the season. And we've been, quite simply, flawless so far at Manchester United. Only three goals conceded in those seven games. And 20-plus scored. It's offside there, unfortunately. Oh, the ball's in the back of the net anyway. <laughs> Not to count, unfortunately. Anthony... I mean, it's tight, but it is correct. Rashford, nicely to hudson Adoy. Still goalless here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Still no keeper drawn into a massively important save. Might be about to change, though. They get a turn in here with Rashford. It really could have done, but Rugani does his job. He might be fourth-choice centre-back, and I might not want him on the pitch, but he's done his job there, at least. Ball out wide here to Sessegnon. Chelsea just taken a one goal to nil lead against Leicester. And Tottenham very nearly taking a one goal lead here as well. I'm only on a 5.9 at the minute. I don't know as I've done much wrong other than the occasional misplaced pass. But evidently I must not have done much right either if my match rating is still that low. Let's see what we can do here. Ossimen could flick that on. And McSauce has worked that nicely. I'll look for Sheldrup. Find him. He's gone for a 1-2, which doesn't work. At least my match rating is now up to a 6. I don't know whether your own match rating is inherently tied to the you know the rest of your AI teammates' performances. I don't think so. But it's always been a little suspicion, a little superstition of mine, that if you're not playing well, then the team doesn't play well. And if you do play well, then the team will put in a better performance or your teammates will play better if you're obviously playing as just the one man. You'll have to let me know what your thoughts are on that. Rashford beats his man. Doesn't score against his former team. Saved well by David De Gea, but Tottenham are pushing here to go in front before half-time. Cross comes in from the far side and is cleared now by Ossiman. <laughs> it'll be 1-0 at half-time. No, sorry. It'll be 0-0 at half-time. Right, let's crack on in this second half and get ourselves a goal to go in front, please. I don't care whether I'm the one to score it or not. I've already got a Premier League golden boot to my name. I've achieved personally in this division already. This year is all about... This year is all about the team. This year is all about Manchester United winning trophies. And if Sheldrick could have tucked that away, it would have been a dream start to the second half. Not only did I get the golden boot, but I got the record as well. Osimhen gets to that. But it's out for another corner, is it? It is. So, because I got the record, I really don't have anything to go for, personally. It's not like I got the golden boot last year, but didn't quite get the goal-scoring record. Like, we have everything, personally, now, at this level. I just need maybe a Ballon d'Or, which I might actually win this year, given my performances, both throughout the last 12 months of last season and this season. And Tim played in. Anthony is going to go, and by drifting out wide, it's then opened up some space in the middle. That's a lovely ball through to Tim. Our number seven is in here, and Sheldrup, and a Simen. Ah, come on. Everything but the goal in this second half so far.
Good save from Maximiano from Sheldra at the beginning of it. And since then, can't quite find that last opportunity, that half a yard to pull the trigger and get the shot off. So the minute, Tottenham can't seem to find either, although hudson Adoy is in the box. Tackled well by Caicedo and Victor Osimhen will get rid of it. I hope. <laughs> McTominay, Sheldrup, McTominay, Sheldrup. Well, that was really poor. I didn't call for that at all. Just tried to force it through a gap that quite simply wasn't there. Regani gets to tackle him and now he's out of possession. Position even. Tim then gets to tackle him too. And we've recovered it at least. Sheldrup to Anthony. I don't want it yet. He's given it to me anyway. He's going to go again, Anthony. I've then tried to force it through a gap that wasn't there, but... It was worth a try on that occasion. I'm at risk of being subbed out, in fact. Might be Ike Bravo coming on for me in the final 10 minutes. Nil-nil still here. And thankfully... Jesus, what? What is happening? Why would the defender pass that in that situation? That is ludicrous. Osimhen, to me. One... Oh, went for the one-two. Never mind. Caicedo, McTominay. Caicedo could come to me here. He's gone to Osimhen. I'll then spin here. And Sheldrop can hopefully make me a run that I might be able to use... Sven Botman gets the foot in. Frustrating game this against Tottenham. Against Tottenham. And... Uh, getting really annoyed at myself for not performing to my best here. We've just had two really good games for England. And we're going to fail to win 8 from 8 in the Premier League. And if they find the ball inside here... We might lose our unbeaten streak as well as our 100% record. We are going to... And I'm off. Alvarez with the goal. Ike Bravo is on for me. There's only two minutes left. So we might as well simulate it. There's not going to be enough. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there isn't going to be another goal. There's going to be another two. Well, that's fucking stupid, isn't it? Because that would never happen. 87. I'm subbed in the 88th. And then, of course, two goals in the 89th minute. Immediately from kickoff. And then immediately from kickoff. Stop trying to force something to happen when you simulate a result. It needs to take into account how much longer is left in the game. Not just sim the game as if that's the whole of the second half left or a full 90. That's silly. Well, we lose by one goal. It's just that it's 2-1, not 1-0 as it should have been. We should still be top of the league, which I believe we will be. We're bottom, however, of our Champions League group. And we will have to put that right over the next few episodes. Uh, we aren't top of the league still. Manchester City were the only side to keep tabs on us and they've only gone and gone above us now by drawing their eighth game. We lost our eighth, unfortunately. So they go above us. If we'd have held on, then we'd have still been top on goal difference, but it wasn't to be. So tomorrow, it'll be Champions League against Salzburg, Premier League against Wolves and then Carabao Cup against Bristol City before then Bournemouth, Salzburg and Brighton after that. Want to win both games against Salzburg to fire ourselves back up the table in the Champions League. Low match performance. I can I can I can take that. I'll take it on the chin. Commit to improving. I wasn't great and rightly so subbed off. And Halloween uh, let's have a team Halloween party. Why not? It gives us more maverick points, which is what we're trying to sway. To give us a little bit more boost in the personality point area. To give acceleration and sprint speed a go. But it's going to take a long time to sway that, I think, at the moment. So we'll just keep grinding away on all fronts. Join me tomorrow for some more. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.